Hello everyone and welcome to this new tutorial. My name is Sorin Pradescu, Marketing Manager at Connect, and today we're going to learn how to set up Godbrace in Unity with Volumetric Fog and Mist 2. The first step is to import Volumetric Fog and Mist into your project if you haven't already done it. Once you finish importing the package, a new folder will be created with the name of the asset, where all the resources will be located. At this point, you can already start setting up the Godbrace. This effect will work for built-in and URP, and in this tutorial we'll cover both of them. For built-in rendering pipeline, select your main camera and in the inspector panel add the volumetric fog and mist script. For universal rendering pipeline, in the Unity main menu, select Game Object, Effects, Volumetric Fog 2, and finally Fog Volume. You can also click the plus button on the hierarchy and follow the same process. If you're working with the built-in pipeline, the first step will be to assign the sound reference from your scene. By default, this option is already available in the Universal Render Pipeline. In this case, remember to enable Depth Texture option in the URP asset. The fog should now be visible in the scene. Play with the settings to match the desired fog effect. These values will be tweaked at the end. Now, this is where the God Rays part comes in. Select your directional light and make sure the shadows are enabled. Also, on the Calling Mask option, select the layer which is related to the object that will occlude the light. Back to the Volumetric Fog and Mist options, make sure the Receive Shadows option is enabled and play with the intensity until you reach the expected result. For us, a value of 1 is what worked best. By now, the God Rays should already be scattered around your scene and it should have a fantastic look added to the visuals. This is the perfect time to finish tweaking the visual aspect of the fog. The main values that will make the fog effect look neat and realistic are noise-related parameters, jitter, dithering and density. If you have any doubt regarding this tutorial, feel free to contact us at chronic.com and remember to visit our social media to stay tuned with all of our updates. Thank you for watching this video.